Hi everyone. Today we are going to study the joint application development approach for the development of an information system. Before this in our previous video we have studied the model based approach or the prototype approach for the development of information system and today we are going to study the jad or joint application development approach now what is this jad or joint application development approach basically it is defined as a structured approach in which users managers and analysts work together for several days so you can see that there are a group of people who are working together for several days which basically includes your users managers and analysts so a group of team of people group or team of people are working together that is why the name joint application development has been given the name itself justifies the fact that it is a joint application development approach wherein it's a joint it's a joint effort of the users the managers and the analysts who are working together for several days in a series of intensive meetings so basically how they are working together by conducting intensive meeting for several days and then with the help of those meetings it is specified that what are the system requirements and those system requirements are then reviewed so all three of them the vital players are the vital players of a jad session that is the users managers and analysts work together by conducting a series of uh, intensive meetings and during these meetings they specify what are the system requirements and then they review those system requirements the typical participants in a jad are the first of all the jad session leader now as i said there are series of intensive meetings held so who are all the participants in those meetings the first and foremost the most important participant is a jad session leader so who is a jad session leader as the name itself suggests it is somebody who is leading the session he is a session leader so basically he is somebody who is leading the session and obviously since we are talking about the joint application development or jad so the name of this session leader is the jad session leader now what does this jad session leader do this leader basically organizes and runs the jad his most important task or the responsibility of this leader is to organize and then run the joint application development meetings so the the meetings that are held among various participants of the jad session it is the responsibility of the jad leader to organize those meetings and run those meetings now this person is basically someone who is trained in group management not anybody from the information system team can become a jad leader that person must be trained well enough in group management and group facilitation as well as system analysis so basically he is somebody from the system analysis team but someone who is trained in group management and group facilitation the jad leader sets the agenda and sees that it is met so basically for any meeting whenever any meeting is conducted you have to make sure that the agenda of the meeting is decided well in advance so that you know what is the purpose of that meeting right and then during the meeting it is also important to stick to that agenda and not deviate from that so for that reason you need somebody who takes care of this and it is the jad leader who sets the agenda of the meeting and also sees that this agenda is met at the end of the session or at the end of the meeting now the jad leader remains neutral on issues and does not contribute ideas or opinions but rather concentrates on keeping the group on agenda resolving conflicts and disagreements and soliciting all ideas so the jad leader basically you can say that he is not an active participant though he is participating in the jad session but he is not an active participant and most of the times or during the entire session of the jad meeting he remains neutral because he cannot uh, take sides jad leader is someone who is organizing the group meetings who is facilitating the group meetings and anyone who organizing organizes or um, the meetings or sessions cannot take sides cannot give opinions cannot approve or disapprove on things he has to remain neutral in order to in order to ensure that the meeting 
goes on peacefully without any problem he is the one who is facilitating the group so he cannot take any sides right he cannot contribute any ideas he cannot contribute any opinions his sole task is to concentrate on the fact that the group remains on the agenda and do not discuss things out of agenda or do not deviate from the agenda of the meeting of course when there are group meetings there can be conflicts and disagreements so to resolve those um, conflicts and disagreements this is the responsibility of the jad leader who will be resolving any such conflicts which arise during the jad session among various active participants so the jad leader will resolve the conflicts or any disagreements if they occur during the entire jad session and obviously they will, he will also solicit the ideas now other than the jad leader the other participants are who are basically at most of the times actively participating in the jad session are the first are the users the first participant that will be talking of is the users now users are basically a very play, uh, vital participants why what uh, vital participants because ultimately it is the users who will be using the information system so in a way i can say who is this information system being built for it is being built for the users of the information system and since they are the ones who will be using it first hand obviously they are very vital participants of the jad session they are the only one who have a clear understanding of what it means to use the system on a daily basis obviously it is the users who will be using the system on a daily basis so nobody other than them has a clear understanding of what it means to use the system on a daily basis what are the problems that they encounter on a daily basis what are their requirements from the um, uh, from the system under uh, which is proposed what are the requirements from the system under uh, system which is proposed so basically users are very vital because they have a very clear picture or understanding of the entire system which is being used the new proposed system what are the expectations from the proposed system so that is that is why they are very important participants during the jad session because obviously they contribute a lot to during the session then the next participants are the managers apart from the users every organization every information system has the managerial team so we have the has the management team so we have the managers as the second participants of the jad session at number 2 the participants that we have are the managers no obviously the managers are the one who are managing the organization so the role of the managers during the jad session would also be something like managing only first of all their task is to approve project objectives now during the jad session basically we are uh, trying to figure out the preliminary investigations the system requirements so during these sessions when we find out the objectives when we identify the objectives of the system any system to be built must have some objectives to be met that is for sure so when during a jad session when we are trying out to find the objectives of the proposed system now whether those objectives are valid or not who will approve that it is the manage managers who will approve whether the project objectives are valid or not then they are the ones who establish project priorities now there are many tasks in line during the development of a system, uh, information system project now what would be the priorities of those tasks during the entire stage of development of that information system those priorities are also established by the managers approving schedules is also the task of the managers any project that is the information system over here when i talk of a project in uh, i am talking of an information system over here so any project takes a certain amount of time to be completed now it is the managers who will decide whether the firm or the organization can afford to have uh, to afford that much of time for the development of the project or not say for example the team of analysts say or the team of people in the information system say that okay this project needs minimum 6 months time for completion now it is the managers who will approve this schedule whether they are okay with this 6 month schedule or they want the schedule to be reduced so the approval of schedules of the development of a project is also given by the managers and of course cost being a very important factor because no project 
can run without the monetary aspect so cost is a very important factor during the development of a project right so what are the costs what costs are approved what is the minimum budget of the project what is the maximum budget of the project okay this is the bu budget beyond which we cannot go for the development of this project all these things are decided by the managers so the cost the schedules of the project these are all approved by the managers and then of course whenever a new system is proposed the users need to be trained to use that system so of course when the new system will be developed what would be the training needs of the users who will be using the system would also be identified by the managers so the managers would identify the training needs and then what would be the implementation plans for the final implementation of the project that is also decided by the managers next are your sponsors the third participants that we'll be talking of are your sponsors now a jad must be sponsored by someone at a relatively high level in the company right any jad session has to be sponsored who is going to put the money for conducting the jad sessions basically when i say sponsoring that means who will put the money for conducting that particular session so you need that means you need to have some sponsors for the jad session and obviously not the users or the managers but somebody at the high level in the the company would only sponsor the jad session and it is usually person from the top management top management basically means they can be the board of the, uh, the uh, board members who have their shares in the firm or company so these are the people who have command over the sponsorship so these are the people who would be sponsoring the jad sessions and obviously it is important to sponsor the jad session because unless it is sponsored the jad session cannot be conducted money is involved in everything so if the sponsor attends any meeting see they are also uh, the sponsors are also the participants but they may not be active participants at all the times so if at all the sponsors attends any meeting it is usually either at the very beginning or at the end then the fourth participants that we will be seeing is the system analyst see the entire uh, system analysis and design thing is not possible without the system analyst it is the system analyst who is basically developing the information system the task of implementation is done by the programmers but before that you need to develop the information system you need to do the documentation as you, as i said you know need to do the preliminary investigation you need to do the system analysis and that is not possible without the system analyst so obviously the system analyst is also a very vital participant of the jad sessions now members of the system analysis team attend the jad session although their actual participation may be limited again their participation may be limited because they are not contributing any ideas or they are not there to Uh, up, uh, approve any schedules or costs they are th they are just to have an insight of uh what are the requirements of the users what are their expectations what would be the objectives so they are there just to note down all these things so they may not be doing actual participation analysts are there to learn as i said they are to just gain an insight or learn from the customers users and managers and they are not there to run or dominate the process then the fifth participant is a scribe the scribe is that person that takes down the notes during the jad session now whenever a meeting or a session is conducted you need somebody to take down the important points or to note down the important points of the meeting or session so during the jad session it is the scribe who is doing this task of taking down the notes during the jad session then the sixth and the last member of the jad session is the is staff now is here means information system so when i say is staff that means the information system staff so just like the system analyst other information system staff such as programmers database analyst information system planners uh and data center personnel may attend to learn from discussions and possibly contribute their ideas so all the people who are contributing towards the development and implementation of the information system are known as the information staff first of all so you should have you should know what an information system staff is anybody who is involved in the development and implementation of the information system 
is the information system or IS staff. So for that reason, the system analyst is also an IS staff. Now, other than apart from the system analyst, the other IS staff members like the uh, programmers, the database analyst. Now, just like a system analyst analyzes the system, a database analyst analyzes the database. So the other IS staff members like the programmers, the database analysts, the IS planners and the data center personnel may or may not. It is, uh, it is not compulsory for the IS staff to attend the meeting, but they may attend the meeting or the JAT session to learn, to uh, learn from the discussions of the meeting and possibly contribute their ideas if they have any.